bury me with my money. How you doing? My name is Codling Big Bear or Stuart if you want to call me by my first name. Uh, so this week I'm kind of doing a list video. Well, I am actually doing a list video, a list of uh, five uh, Western games you can play on a Switch. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because over the next couple of weeks I've actually got a couple of uh, games to review. Uh, and I don't have, I can't talk about them right now, so I have to wait. So I've had to figure out something to do. So five Western games it is, and actually. This idea came to me because today, as in Friday, the day I'm filming this, uh, Sunset Riders Arcade just got released on the Switch. I am over the moon about that. Absolutely incredibly over the moon. Uh, but before we do anything else, and uh, before I start talking about th those games, um, I suppose it's time to do our usual thing, eh? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Don't forget to uh, hit the, the bell, the notification bell. Put comments down below. Um, have a look at our website. All the links are down below as well. Um, have a look at our website with loads of articles on our YouTube. We have over 450 plus videos. Over 450 plus. You get the idea. But have a look at it. Like, share, subscribe. Do all the things that help us. Uh, well, help us make these videos to entertain you so we can keep on doing this and encourage us to do more. Uh, but anyway, back to the usual thing. So as I said, uh, we have, uh, well, I'm going to be talking about five games that you can play on uh, the Switch. Five Western style games you play on the Switch. Say, uh, for instance, you've been playing RDR2, right? Red Dead Redemption 2. And you've been really itching to do something else, something to do in the cowboy style world. Uh, well, this is the answer for you. Now, the first game I'm going to talk about is one of my personal favourite games of all time, and it is Sunset Riders, the game I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Uh, as you can see here, I actually have wah, the cartridge. Uh, I've had this for, <laughs> for about 20 years or so, maybe? A little less than that. A little bit rattly, isn't it? Um, but Sunset Riders, that version of it is uh, a different version to the version that you have on the Switch. For instance, uh, you know, in the very first level, and I'll show you, be showing you now as I'm talking, you uh, you go through and you have uh, joysticks uh, kind of appear to tell you, give you the instructions of how to play the game. Uh, you get to one point, there's a rake on the floor, that cracks you in the face, and at another point you get burnt and you kind of crumble into eyes. Now on the SNES version, you didn't have any of that, uh, uh, and it was actually a lot easier to play. And the fact is, I got to the very final level on the SNES version by myself, admittedly on the easiest difficulty of all the continues and everything else. But uh, I'm not very good at games, so, you know, back off, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Marry me with my money. Anyway, uh, so, yo, know, Sunset Riders on the uh, Switch is the original arcade version, uh, which means it is just generally a lot harder. But there is one thing that you need to know about, especially as what's going on in the world right now as well. Um, there is one level that, uh, even though it's an amazing game, it's probably quite racist. So on the SNES version, in the level that I'm talking about, I will not be showing any of this on screen. Um, you have you are fighting a villain. Your bo the boss to fight the level is Chief Wigwam. Already, you can see the alarm bells going up there. Uh, but in this level, on a SNES version, you were facing regular bandits, regular cowboys, kind of going through. Then you face face off against him, and you don't actually kill him. Believe it or not, you don't actually kill him. He actually gives you where the big bosses are, and that's quite cool. But in the original arcade version, uh, this was. I didn't know this for years. In fact, I only found out last year that this was even the case. But you get to that level, and instead of bandits, you are basically just killing Native Americans. Uh, at first, they seem, you know, they've got no bullets and they really defend themselves. Uh, but you're going with bullets, and I think they're shooting you with arrows. I can't remember. Again, I've only really played that level a couple of times. But either way, it's not okay. Um, the rest of the game, however, is absolutely amazing. Um, the game itself is worth playing. If you can find the uh, SNES version, there is a Mega Drive version which is very different. Again, if you find those two versions, I'd recommend playing those over this Switch version, uh, purely on that. Uh, but if you can't, then, well, it's up to you whether you buy this game. Uh, I personally think it's an incredible game, and I'm very excited to play the arcade version all the way through. Uh, but I've still got my SNES, and I almost likely... Put that one back in and play that one myself. 
But anyway, that's Sunset Riders for you. Uh, there is another game to talk about, and that is Gunman Clive. So Gunman Clive um, is a really stylistic little game. It's kind of almost like pencil sketches all the way through it. You have little zo you have zones that you play through. Again, a lot of these games are very arcadey, by the way. So you pick up and play, put them down, and just kind of come back to them any other point. There's no major plot points to them. But Gunman Clive is trying to save his uh, his beloved, I'm assuming, from eventually an alien uh, an alien invasion, which I should be showing you in a second. Uh, but you are but you are playing Clive, and you can shoot forwards, and you can crouch, and you can shoot forwards and backwards. You can shoot forwards and backwards anyway, and you can jump. But you can also switch out weapons by firing them in the in the area, and it gives you bonuses for one hit, means that that weapon is gone. Standard affair, I suppose, for these kind of games. And you have health, which is uh, you know like cake. It is bright pink cake. Uh, but you do get to boss levels, and you have to figure out how the best way to kill them, their patterns. Uh, kind of usual things again with arcade. You figure out the patterns, you'll be able to work out the bosses and destroy them all. It's got some really cool platform, really great ideas in there. Uh, the only uh, issue I have with this particular game is the fact you can't aim up or down. You can literally shoot left or right and that's it. You can jump obviously, but you know, it's one of those. But Gunman Clive also comes with Gunman Clive 2, which I've not played yet. Um, but it wasn't very much. It was about seven pounds, I think it was. And from the game, the mouse game that I played, absolutely worth it. It's a really, really cool game, and definitely worth just kind of looking at at least. Anyway, uh, but Gunman Clive. So if you're looking for Cowboy Saves Damsel in Distress, this is the game for you. Now I'm going to turn my attention to a game that uh, that utilizes the Joy Cons um, uh, gyroscope hujima gig. Uh, basically, it's an on-rail shooter known as Mad Bullets. It's very Western style, and you shoot all sorts of characters out there. They kind of come on like a like a shooting gallery. They kind of slide in, and you ping them down, and you slide in this one, and he spins around after I've shot him. Uh, but you have all sorts of enemies in there, and you've got uh, bounties to get throughout these levels as well. So you see a blue uh, a dude with blue around him. He's the one you need to get to complete the level. You also have bullets flying at your screen. You can shoot out of the air, and it's very, very cool. Thing is, uh, the gyroscope censoring isn't isn't incredible. Um, so you kind of set it up on your, on your TV screen. You you have to use the controller and aim at the middle of the screen, and then you aim at the top left. That's my top left. Uh, there it is. There's your top left. I know I'm doing. Be aiming at the top left, and then you are there shooting through the game. You press uh, the Z button, Z R, uh, to fire and just R uh, to reload, I guess. Uh, but depending on the controller you use will depend on certain things you can do. So if you use the right one, you can uh, you can go home. You can shoot your way home if you want to. But if you use the left hand one, uh, go to the home page. That's what I meant. You can click the home page and do all the normal things you can do from there. But if you have only the left one working and using that one, you can't even exit the game. So that's kind of awkward. But obviously I needed to capture footage for this. And I was using the, uh, the using that one, and I was using the right hand one, so I had to restart a whole level and capture it with this one, and then turn the console off. It was just a flipping nightmare. If you want to be able to capture footage whilst playing this game, you need to use the left hand controller, uh, but then you can't exit the game. And if you want to be able to just exit the game, you need to use the right hand controller. You get the idea. But either way, this game is actually quite fun, but there is an issue. It just doesn't. So you have the reticule on the screen here, and it's just constantly drifting. It's constantly drifting one way. And every time you reload, it resets to where it is, wherever your Joy-Con is pointing. So if you've got it pointing in the middle of the, middle of the screen, it resets the middle of the screen. Once you get used to that, it's actually really quite fun. Yeah, I quite enjoyed this game. My Bullets is uh, it's definitely worth a go, but just be aware, it is a bit finickety and a bit awkward. Um, but really, really good fun. So the next game we're going to talk about is kind of uh, like Mad Bullets. It is kind of like a... Uh, it's not really a rail shooter, it's more of a gallery shooter. You are playing, you're Western 1849, it's called. Cool. Was it 1849? It's 1849. Western 1849. Uh, basically, you play a dude who is hiding behind the boxes, and you've got to shoot all your guys. There is motion controls with this. I didn't try this out because of the trouble I had with Mad Bullets, but I will try it out at some point in the future, I promise you. Um, but <clears throat> playing handheld uh, with the edge controllers, really quite... Yeah, you know, successful. It, it flows very well. You have uh, you have some slowish enemies. You got tasks and achievements to do throughout. So if you shoot seventy cans, you get yourself a little achievement. Uh, you got headshots as well as pull off extra points. Blah 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 blah. Uh, but essentially, you are playing this dude who hides behind a box. You pop out, take out your dudes who are around you, and complete the level that way. Um, really simple gameplay. It's 
I mean, I'm just gonna, sh it's on the screen right now. So I don't really need to explain anymore. What is there is there. Oh, my phone is on 5%. Should do this one quickly. Uh, so Western uh, 1849, definitely worth a go. It's not exactly expensive at the moment. Um, it's just really quite fun and just kind of something again that you put on and just play for a few minutes and then chuck it away again. Unless you get really, really into it, obviously you can really, really enjoy yourself. Now the last game I'm going to be talking about is Wild Guns. Da -da 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 -da. It's not Wild I know that's not the song. Um, it's Wild Boys, but <laughs> every time I hear the name Wild Guns, that pops into my head. Wild Guns is a game that came from the time of the SNES and the Mega Drive. Uh, you play as a character called Clint or Annie, and they are in a steampunk style Western future. And it is really cool. It's a great, great uh, gallery shooter where you got to move the rest. You got to stop your character, move the rest around, shoot people up, and then hop and jump and dodge things. You got bombs. You got multiple weapons. You got two kick-ass characters to play with, uh, and it's just really cool. And in fact, some of the bosses are mental. Now for this, uh, for this I only really kind of got the got to the first major boss, uh, but I will put some stuff on screen for you as well. You can see where I'm coming from. It is really, really cool game, and this one is probably the best option of all the ones I've spoken about today because this one is free if you have Nintendo Online. It's just in your SNES app, uh, ready for you to go, and 100% recommend playing this game. I was so excited when this game uh, was announced for uh, the SNES app, uh, and yeah, I just played it instantly. I had to. Uh, I did go to capture the first few levels again um, for for this video, obviously. Uh, but that's because I wasn't playing it to review it originally, so there you go. Now, guys, I know it was only short and sweet today, uh, but there are five Western games you can play on the Switch that you may have some fun with today. Uh, you may have some fun with just in general. you got Sunset Riders, as I said, which is a little bit problematic, but it's a fantastic game. Wild Guns, absolutely 100% recommend. Uh, Gunman Clive. Brilliant little game, well worth playing. And then you have the two uh, sh the shooters that I mentioned about the gallery shooters. Mad Bullets is a bit iffy, but I quite enjoyed it. And uh, and Western 1849 as well. So guys, you know, do the usual thing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All the all the links are below us as well. Check us out on our websites and all that. Um, but other than that, you know, you have yourself a fantastic day, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Yeah.